In this video, we're going to do a quick introduction to the main parts of Build Exact. From there, we're really going to look at the different ways that you can ultimately get into Build Exact. So that's going to be both through capturing leads, but also looking at alternative methods as well. Now, to begin, Build Exact does essentially three key things. We help manage leads, estimating, and the job management section. And the idea here is that all three work in conjunction with each other. So ultimately, when you start, you'll probably create a lead. Uh, once that lead is one, you'll have the ability to create the estimate. And of course, once that estimate has been one, it'll then uh, become a job. And so a great way to think about this is really just uh, a bit of a funnel where the leads will be at the top, where you might have, say, 100 people reach out to you over the course of a year. But of course, of those 100, maybe only 50 turn into estimates. And of those 50 estimates, maybe only 10 or 15 turn into jobs. So from here, we want to look at a key question, and that is, how do you actually start using the Build Exact system? Now, there's going to be different answers to this depending on the type of subscription you're on. So for those of you on Pro, Teams, or on a trial, our journey ideally starts in the leads. However, if you're on entry, you're going to have a different way to start, and I'll go through that in a moment. But to begin, essentially we're going to start by creating a lead. And this effectively represents the first step of someone's journey with you. So here, we're going to go ahead and capture a lead. And this would be an example of when somebody reaches out to your business. It could be word of mouth, referral, email, uh, advertising, you know, however they may have come, in, um, come to approach you. But from here, we're going to start by entering in the, the name. So I'll say Sam Smith. What's happening here is Built Exact is basically searching the uh, database of clients, and right now it's not finding a Sam Smith, so we need to go ahead and add him in. Next up, as you can see, we're really just entering in a couple key details. And just like that, we have everything we need to create Sam as a lead. Now, once we've done that, we've effectively now created a lead for Sam, and that really then leads us uh, into the next stage. Now, we do have a separate video that goes through the lead section in more detail, including the client project here, AKA the client portal. But for today, the next step in terms of getting Sam and getting an estimate started for him is to click on the estimates tab, click create new, and from here, you can go ahead and use a template, both the Build Exact provided ones, and eventually you'll probably build your own templates as well. So as I select that, I'll click Next. This is me now creating an estimate. So I'm going to give it a name, the uh, building type. And again, I can, as an optional step, again, further indicate how they might have heard about us. Once we've done that, that basically creates an estimate. And we have uh, a range of videos that'll take you through uh, each of these areas and key functionality in more detail. However, for those of you on the entry plan, you're not gonna have the lead section. So the question still really stands, how do you get started? Now, for those of you on entry, and really everybody, but primarily those of you on entry, there's actually three different ways to start an estimate. For here, right to start, we're in the estimate section. And the first way we can create a new estimate is actually by copying a previous one, which we can do by clicking this little blue button here. Now, this is quite common when potentially you get uh, a, a new set of plans across your desk and it looks pretty similar to uh, an estimate you might've done in the past. So you may find that the easiest way to, to create that new estimate is just by copying an old one, or this is also quite common where maybe you wanna take uh, an old estimate and essentially convert that into a template where the first step is to basically make a copy of that. We do have some FAQ uh, information that does take you through those steps further, but that is the first step there. The second way to create an estimate is by clicking Create New. And when you do this, this is then going to allow you to create an estimate from your default template, which I'll talk more about in a moment. Quick note though on this screen, you do also have actually the ability to import your estimates from an Excel spreadsheet. Again, we do have FAQ content on this, including some templates to guide you through that process. So if that is of interest, definitely check out our FAQ section under the Explore area. But again, this is uh, effectively the first step. Once you fill that information in, tick that on. Once you click OK, it'll then take you through that import process. Now, the third and final way is going to bring us into the secondary navigation where we're going to click on Templates. 
By the way, this is our default template. Uh, we can tell because this says default and this little pin is pressed in. So if we wanna change that default template, all we need to do is click that little pin in and that will then reassign that template as the default template. But for us here today, as we look at all of our estimate templates, the third and final way to create an estimate is by simply clicking on the plus button from any one of these uh, estimate templates. And that will then allow you the process, or take you through the process, which will allow you to create an estimate from that template. And that's how to get started. Thank you.